Hi there, and welcome to Snowy Art. Here's a little Christmas card idea. It's just an A5 card folded in half with a 1.5 cm border. The colours you'll need for this painting are turquoise, black and white, cadmium red and heavy body white. I used Crafters Turquoise and De La Rone System 3 heavy body paint. So let's get started. First uh, let's mix a smidgen of black with the turquoise, just enough to get it nice and muted. Then add a little white. There, that's a nice colour. I should say before we start that I've already primed the card with some ordinary white household emulsion. Okay, that's a nice wintry looking sky. Just add in a little more white now. There, just paint all the way down nice and loosely. Grab your round bristle brush and paint in some snow on those hills. You want to keep a thicker layer of white paint on the top of the hill here and then thin it out as you brush downwards. We're going to paint in some quirky little houses now. So I'm mixing up some more of the colour I used for the sky. Just start off by painting in some basic little shapes. Grab some white with your round bristle brush and paint in some more snow on those hills. Painting the roofs in now with white. As you paint the snowy roofs in, you also get a chance to shape them a little more. Now to give your cottages a little character, try to avoid straight lines as much as you can and instead brush in more curves.
make up a darker mix now for the shaded areas around the eaves. You can also use this colour for the chimneys. I'm highlighting the front of the houses now with little dabs of turquoise. In go the wonky chimneys. Okay, this is the mix for the window frames. You really need a very fine liner brush for this. Doing a little bit of shading here using turquoise and just a minute amount of black. Well, I think it's starting to look like something now. <laughs> so grab some of the heavy body white now and paint it nice and thick onto the roofs. This will give the snow a little extra added dimension. I think it's quite nice to make someone a Christmas card. People tend to treasure handmade stuff and if they wanted to they could always frame it like a regular painting. I'm going to paint in a little focal point for the painting now. Two little red doors. There we go. The turquoise background complements them nicely and makes them stand out. You'll notice that cadmium red tends to darken and mute itself against the turquoise as it dries, which is good as colours are naturally muted in winter anyway. I'm still using the white heavy body paint for the chimney smoke. Okay, let's grab some more white with your round bristle brush and scumble in more snow in the foreground.
there, that's a lovely snowy hill. Right, how about painting in some trees now? Notice I've shaped the tree a lot like the shape of the roof beside it. I didn't mean to do that, but I think it looks good, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Mixing up a dark colour now for the foreground trees. Okay, let's paint a wee bush in about here. And how about another one on the other side? And we'll make this a little bigger. I think these are looking a lot like fairy thorn trees. That's even better. How about a friendly little fence now to mark out the road? There we go. We can't be bad to that. So what gives a Christmas card that Christmassy feeling? Well, we've painted in some snowy houses, chimney smoke, frosted windows, some winter trees, falling snow, and don't forget that friendly old fence. Hopefully we've got enough elements here for a nice Christmas scene and also that Christmassy feeling. Well, I hope I've given you some ideas for your own Christmas cards. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for more snowy art. Thanks for watching and happy painting!